are about to see a photo never seen by the public. You'll certainly recognize the man in the middle, and we hope someone watching can tell us about the other two people in the photo. Here's Five on Your Side's Art Holiday. With fame comes photographs. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King is one of the most photographed men in the world. While some of the photos of King have been seen by millions, this photo, taken in St. Louis, has never been seen by the public before now. We don't yet know the man and woman who posed with Dr. King, but we know the woman who photographed them in 1963. The late Olivia Merriweather Perkins taught science at Sumner High School. In her four decades of teaching, she had some famous students at Sumner. Tina Turner, Arthur Ashe, Chuck Berry. Sumner alumnus Warice Blackman Davis, who works for St. Louis Public Schools, says Ms. Perkins was a photographer in charge of Sumner's Photography Club, where she demanded excellence from club members. They were expected to be very professional, so there was no horse playing. You know, when you were engaged in those activities, you had to be focused on it, and your job had to be completed when it was supposed to be completed. As documented at the current civil rights exhibit at the Missouri History Museum, the 1963 Jefferson Bank protest was a seminal moment in St. Louis civil rights history. One of the Jefferson Bank protesters was 85-year-old Norman Say, who is part of the Missouri History Museum exhibit. Jefferson Bank refused to hire black persons. A group of protesters with signs conducted a peaceful protest, blocking the main entrance to the Jefferson Bank. Police arrested many of the protesters, including Say, who spent three months in jail. It was during the Jefferson Bank protest Dr. King came to St. Louis. And at some point, Olivia Merriweather Perkins took this photo of King during his visit. A handwritten note by Mrs. Perkins says the photo was taken when Dr. King was meeting with protest organizers. During the 1960s, when so many protests were going on around the country, it wasn't uncommon for Dr. King to travel to different locations and lend his support. So you're not surprised that he came to St. Louis not during the Jefferson all. Bank protests? Not at all. In fact, we were very honored that he came. He was recognized as a leader of the civil rights movement. And his presence was an asset. Norman Say had his own photo op with Dr. King, but he doesn't remember the date or the occasion. Say recalls that Dr. King's visit caused local businesses to revisit their refusal to hire African Americans. As a result of the bank demonstration, other banks did not want that kind of demonstration. So they employed blacks. If you know the people posing with Dr. King in Olivia Perkins' photo, We'd like to hear from you. Art Holiday, five on your side. Dr. Jeffrey Copeland, a professor at the University of Northern Iowa, wrote a book about Olivia Perkins and bought her photo collection, including the King photo. So let us know if you recognize the people with Dr. King. Well, relentless.